Here we're going to talk a little bit about abstract controls in Apex Graphs. Uh, and they're a really handy tool that you can utilize for a lot of different things. But they solve a particular problem within Apex Graphs, and that is float parameters and being able to animate those parameters. So just to illustrate what I'm talking about, if I put down a quick line and a sweep below it, let's give it a round tube. Now I have all these different parameters over here, right? I have radius, I have uh, columns and everything like that. And Houdini is awesome because, uh, or one of the reasons that Houdini is awesome is now that we can go in and animate all these different parameters, right? There's so much we can do here. And of course it's all procedural. So I can put these keyframes in the timeline and just quickly animate these parameters. I can even animate the amount of columns, blah, 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 blah. So um, a lot of cool stuff you can do here. Issue is in Apex, you can't animate these float parameters unless you have a control that is connected to those float parameters while you're in your animation state. So that's a ton of wordage. So let's actually go ahead and look at an example. So I'm gonna make three different points and I'm gonna set up a control that will blend between two different parents, right? So we'll have a point in the middle and then two points on the sides that'll serve as our blend parents. So let's set up our main point first. So this will be parent one, and this one will be parent dose. So let's go with this one in the negative, and this one will just stay right here. Let's give you some names. We'll call this child. Get that D in there. This will be parent one, and this will be parent two. Let's connect those, put down a rig doctor, and initialize transforms. So now we have our joints all set up. Let's pack this, put that into a base skill. So this is all set up, or at least our skeleton is set up. We still have to put down our FK transform to initialize the transforms of our joints, right? So we'll just call this init and now they have uh, FK, or uh, rather um, translation and rotation values. So now I can control these. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unpack. Oops, we need an unpack folder. And remember, we just wanna grab just the rig, right? So we don't get our points in there. And then from here, we're actually going to edit the graph. Let's pack everything back up. First slot into first slot, that into the second slot. Base, rig, animate. There we go. So this is all set up. Uh, we have our animate scene set up. So now we can actually start animate, animating things. Um, but right now there's no connection between these guys, right? So let's jump into our edit graph and let's create an abstract control. Let's open up our scene animate so we can see how things update. So what's interesting about the abstract control in relation to just about anything else is that once you make it, it just goes right into the scene. You don't need any, you don't really need uh, any inputs or outputs. It just, it just goes, it just immediately shows up in our scene. So let's call this um, parent blend. And if I open up my controls, I can see it right there. And I can, I can go ahead and start messing with it. So another thing you could do with your abstract control is you can give it a, an initial position. So if I have a transform object, we'll call this abstract TRL parent, and we can just move it up a little bit. Let's reset and let's get that into there. So now we have this control and we can move our parent around or we can move our abstract control around. Cool, so that's all set up. Now let's actually create the actual blend between the parents and the child. So I'm gonna use a matrix slurp or a slurp transform, where is it? There it is, slurp matrix four. I'm gonna plug the first parent into A, the second parent into B, and then this is gonna go into the parent. And immediately it snaps over to one of these. Uh, let's see which one it is. So once I mess with my bias, this, this bias parameter here, we start blending back and forth between our parents. And so this is what I wanted to illustrate is now we're in our scene animate, right? So now if we move these around, you see that it stays into that middle position, right? If I put this to 0.5 in our transform slurp, now we're moving 
uh, exactly halfway between these two parents. But the issue is, is that I can't animate this bias parameter. I have no access to it. So this is where our abstract control can come in handy. So if I create an input and plug that into the X, I can now animate this abstract control. You see that float value on the screen that's, that's going up and going down? So now I can actually do something with that. So I'm gonna reset everything so everything's back to zero. And I'm gonna plug the X into the bias. And now I can blend between these two parents. And the reason it's, it's uh, shooting beyond the parents is because um, you see the float value is going higher than one, right? So just a little thing you can do here to fix that is just throw down a clamp and we'll put that X into the first value slot here. And uh, we're gonna set our max to one and our minimum to zero. So now it stays with the parent. And of course, you know, you can, you can remove the clamp if you wanted to, like for instance, if you wanted to overdrive blend shapes or something like that, uh, you could always do that. But in this case, we're just gonna have our clamp there. And now I can go and animate this parameter. So I'll press G, I'll animate this, and I'll just grab our abstract control and pull it back. And there you go. So this is very, very basic operation, for instance, of like how you would create an FK IK transform. Uh, you just blend between the parents, you know, and now, you know, you can kind of do stuff like this. So there's a lot of, a lot of really cool things you can do with an abstract control. Uh, this is just one really small example. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Of course, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and thank you for watching.